Hi and welcome to our web design video blog, with Nick and James from Korea. Today we're going to show you how to integrate Google Maps onto your web page and also look at Google's new directions widget. So to check that you're on Google Maps, if you go to um, maps.google.co.uk and search for your company name, you should be able to see your listing. If all the information is correct, so your address and your company name and uh, company number is all, all right, then you're basically ready to integrate it into your website. Right, so we're on uh, Google Maps. If your business isn't listed or the information that is listed is inaccurate, then you want to um, either add your listing or sort of claim your listing and, and uh, edit the data. In order to do this, you can uh, simply click on this link over here, put your business on Google Maps. Next week's uh, website video blog is actually going to be on how to, um, how to go through that process and how to verify your company and claim your listing. So uh, tune in next week and we'll talk to you a little bit more about that. So in order to uh, find your company, the best thing to do is to actually search for your company name also with the uh, town or city that your company is based in. This way it just ensures that you'll get just your company listing come up. It's important to make sure that only one listing comes up rather than uh, multiple ones. And if, if you do get one listing come up, then it automatically pops up in the speech bubble like this. Okay, so um, if all this information is accurate like it is on ours, we're ready to integrate this onto the web page. Um, one thing that's quite important as well is that you need to bear in mind the map, satellite and terrain view. If you've got the satellite view clicked like this and then you then go and get the, the embedding code for this map, it will, will be embedded with the satellite view. Um, I prefer the map view, I think it just looks a little bit easier. Um, so in order to integrate this map now onto our web page, we simply click on this button link which is just here. In order to get a link to this page, so for example if you wanted to send somebody an email um, to your company's listing on Google Maps, you'd copy that. But if you actually wanted to embed um, the map on your web page, which is what we want to do, you copy and paste uh, this iframe HTML which is in here. We know from a previous blog that the iframe is going to be kept in HTML5 and uh, there's more information on that on our previous blog post. Okay, so this is a page on the CREA website, I've set it up, it's called How to Find Us. Um, we're going to have the uh, Get Directions widget in here in a moment, so in terms of the Google Maps integration, we're going to drop that under the uh, second heading to just there. So all I've done is copied the uh, coding, I'm just going to paste it in here. Because this is an iframe, you can apply styling to it, um, for example I could change this width here to 100% to make sure it fills the page, and ideally you want to integrate your Google Map um, as big as possible. At minimum I'd recommend uh, in embedding it in the code that Google give it to you in, but if you can make it any bigger then it will be a little bit easier to look at. Um, if you want to you can also take out their link that's a link you know, to view the larger map, but in this case I'll uh, leave it in. So let's save that and we'll upload this page. ASOS there James. Quiet Nick. <laughs> right, can't remember what the page was called. Right, so how to find us, and then as you can see, here's the uh, Google Map that coding that I've just embedded on the page. Um, probably got a little bit more room here. I could probably make this a little bit taller. As you can see, the map's just loading up like so. So you can see uh, the listing there with the speech bubble and. Um, <clears throat> with Google Maps there's also a few directions tools on here um, but we're going to show you the, um, just now the uh, directions widget which is fairly new. Right so to get Google's directions uh, gadget for your website you need to go to maps.google.co.uk forward slash help forward slash maps forward slash gadgets forward slash directions. Oh, um, the link to that's also on our supporting blog post. So you can test the uh, widget out here or if you want to add it to your web page click the link here. You've got a few um, display settings you can customise on the left, like the name, width, uh, and the border colour and so forth. So what you're going to do is put in your address for your premises. So 15A High Street, Letterworth, Leicestershire, LA17, 480. So that's the uh, main address for the Crayer office. Um, let's just change this language to English English and get the code. Okay, so uh, Google gives you all the uh, HTML you need, it's uh, essentially all JavaScript, and we can paste that in on our Dreamweaver page, just like so. So upload that page, then we can test the widget out on the page. 
Um, probably a little bit overkill having both the uh, Google Map and the Directions widget, but some people might want to have one of the or both. The uh, Directions widget is quite good if you've got like a retail premises or a restaurant or a venue or something like that that people need uh, directions to frequently. So let's say we're coming from uh, Rugby, which is just down the road from uh, Lutterworth. Click Go. Usually just takes a moment, but essentially the widget will now give us directions uh, from Rugby to the Crea office in Lutterworth, like so. So quite a nice little uh, gadget by Google. I said completely free and very straightforward to integrate onto your website. We've had a question from Amos who's asked that sometimes when he embeds um, a copyright symbol into his website, he gets a square or question mark and not the actual symbol. Best thing to do in this situation, because um, the reason why it's not displaying correctly on different computers is the uh, encoding of the page. Um, best thing to do to be safe is just to use the proper HTML coding for the copyright character. So if you go to the uh, code view or the source view and type in ampersand copy semicolon, that's the correct HTML code for a copyright symbol, which makes it a little bit more uh, bulletproof. So thanks for watching and um, don't forget you can uh, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash create group or subscribe to our YouTube channel.